This is the weekly prayer meditation for the week of August 9th. Our scripture is from John chapter 16, verse 33. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. The message from scripture is clear. God created us, God loves us, and God wants the best for us. And yet sometimes we experience grievous trouble, severe trial, or suffering. These heartaches in the Bible are called tribulations. They can come when we least expect them, and sometimes life gets so difficult that our hearts are burdened under the uncertainty and pain. These troubling situations can easily fill our minds with fear and bring anxiety into our lives. We can become quite disturbed and lose our ability to sleep and think straight. Jesus wants us to know that he came to bring us peace. It's nothing like the peace the world gives because it is a peace born in the freedom that Jesus gives us by his overcoming the world. The Lord tells us, take heart because he has defeated the powers of this world. What does Jesus mean when he says, take heart? To take heart means to take it seriously and confidently, to be encouraged and regain your courage. Jesus has overcome anything that can come our way that would try to discourage or defeat us. He then, through grace, has provided us a peace that is greater than all life circumstances. The Lord wants us to know that God is sovereign and all God's plans for us are holy, righteous, and good. We can take heart and be encouraged because God's presence is with us and it is God's will and desire for us that we receive nothing but what is good and righteous. We can rest in comfort right now because the Lord walks with us and has overcome the world. Let us pray. Gracious God, I seek your help and comfort today. You know my pain and my anxieties very well. Help me to rest in your comforting presence right now. You have overcome all things that would try and rob me of my peace. Help me to rest in you at all times, regardless of what my feelings try and convince me to think. I joyfully receive your peace now, and I confidently take heart in you now. Amen.